Okay, hi Julie, how are you today? Super. Good. My name is BJ and I'm from Physical Therapy and we're going to be talking about eccentric, concentric, and static muscle motions today. Sounds great. So um, this should be helpful to the students that just learned it in class and we'll uh, kind of go from there. So. Okay. There are some things that get really confusing along the way. So we're going to start with just your basic motion. We're going to go with shoulder abduction, which is off to the side and up over your head. Okay. I have you angled a little bit just so we can see a little bit better here. All right. Um, but if the muscle is here, which would be the abductor muscle, as she comes up, go ahead and come up, okay, the muscle is getting shorter as she goes up. So that would be a concentric motion of the shoulder abductor. So go ahead and just come down again for a second. So remember with concentric, you have joint motion occurring, that's happening. The muscle is contracting, and in this case, the muscle is getting shorter as she goes up. So that's why it's concentric. So one more time, come up, concentric of the shoulder abductors. Now, as she's going back down, gravity is pulling it down. She's not using her adductors to come back down. So as she comes back down, she's keeping it from falling. So it's the same muscle, it's still working, but this time it's working a little bit different. Okay, so I'll start at the top. Go ahead and come on up to the top. Okay, now as she goes, go ahead and go down. The muscle is contracting because it's keeping the arm from falling. Uh, the joint is moving, but now the muscle is getting longer, which is why it's eccentric. So coming back down like that would be eccentric of the same muscle, the shoulder abductor. Okay? Now, the thing that changes, go ahead and lie on your side. The thing that changes is that if that motion goes past the gravity neutral point, so in other words, once you're pointing up toward the ceiling, things change a little bit once it gets past that vertical point. Okay, I'm going to come behind you here. So now as she starts to come up, again, from this position up to gravity neutral is still concentric of the shoulder abductor. So go ahead and come up to neutral. So right here the muscle is getting shorter and it's fighting gravity. It's concentric exercise. Okay? Now once she gets past gravity neutral, as she goes in this direction, gravity is trying to pull her that way. So now the opposite muscle is coming in to keep that arm from falling. So now this muscle down here, the shoulder adductor, is keeping her from falling. So go ahead and continue the motion. Okay, so there's muscle um, motion going on, joint motion going on. The muscle is lengthening as it's contracting. So that would be eccentric. So from this point to here is eccentric of the shoulder adductor. So let's do that again. Okay, so as you're coming up, the muscle's getting longer. So that's eccentric of the shoulder adductor. As she comes back up, the same muscle is pulling her up against gravity. So now the shoulder adductor is getting shorter. That would be concentric. Okay. From that point back down to her side, now again the shoulder abductors are what's keeping her from falling. So that would be an eccentric of the shoulder abductors. Okay. So anything from this point to this point, it's the shoulder abductors that are working. From this point to here and back are the shoulder adductors. Okay, so we're going to go through the whole motion kind of slowly so I can move my muscle as we go. So, shoulder abductors, concentric, up to this point. Once she gets there, these muscles kick in. Shoulder adductors, eccentric. When she comes back, shoulder adductors, concentric, because it's getting shorter. And then after the gravity neutral, the shoulder abductors, eccentric because it's getting longer.